So as a pretty experienced SOLIDWORKS user, a certified SOLIDWORKS expert, I felt like the transition from SOLIDWORKS to Onshape went pretty smooth. I felt like Onshape had a very intuitive user interface, and within about five minutes, I was able to sign up for a brand new account, and I was in the browser, in the 3D CAD modeling environment, creating a 3D model. But there were a few things that I wish I would have known at the beginning of my journey into the world of Onshape. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top five tips, tricks, or settings in Onshape that I wish I would have known when I was making the transition from SOLIDWORKS. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll give you one additional bonus trick to help save your eyesight. So one of the first things I wish I would have known about is the use of persistent selection in Onshape. Now in SOLIDWORKS, it's very useful to be able to select this face, hold control, select this face, and then look down in the status bar and see what the distance is between those two faces, half an inch distance between those two faces. And again, that workflow is you pick one thing, hold control, pick another thing. That's how you do multi-selection. If we keep holding control, we can select these additional faces here. And then when we're done, we can press escape to clear those selections. Well, Onshape works a little bit differently because Onshape utilizes what's called persistent selection. And what that means is basically you don't have to hold control. I can select this face and then select this face without holding control. And we can look down here in the corner and we can see the distance between those two faces is half an inch, which is very useful. But if we press escape, those things don't get cleared. Escape does not clear your selections. Instead, what we can do is we can click in the background to clear our selections. But the real power behind this tip and the thing I really wish I would have known is you can also press the space bar to clear your selections. So when you're here in Onshape and you've got these five things selected and, and you can't seem to get into the background because maybe there's a plane that's in the way, like the top plane is in the way here and you keep picking the top plane. Well, what you can do is you can just press the space bar on your keyboard. The space bar is the clear selections shortcut in Onshape. And I wish I would have known that earlier on in my Onshape career, not only for when I'm selecting things in the modeling environment, but especially when I'm managing properties in a feature. So you'll notice here I launched the fillet command and I pick this face and this face and this face and this edge and this face and this face and this face and this face. And, this face. and you can see that I've got a lot of things here in the properties of this feature. Well, I can simply press the space bar and clear all those items from that list. And that is a super powerful shortcut in Onshape that I wish I would have known a little earlier on. So persistent selection and using spacebar to clear selections, that is probably my number one tip that I share with SOLIDWORKS users who are making the change over to Onshape. But soon after that, I share with them my next tip, which is when you're in SOLIDWORKS, if you press straight down on the middle button and you drag your mouse, that's how you rotate your view. And that's something that a, as a SOLIDWORKS user, I've gotten very used to over the years. So when I first got into Onshape, I tried to do the same thing. I tried to press straight down on the middle button and drag my mouse, and it took me into a pan mode. But that's not what I want. I want that to be a rotate. Well, what we can do in Onshape is we can go up here to the upper right. There's a section up here in the upper right where your username is shown, and you fly out that menu and choose My Account. And then we can go down to Preferences, and in Preferences, there's a section for Mouse Controls. And currently, Rotate is mapped to right mouse button and drag. Well, let's change that to a SOLIDWORKS profile. And now look at that. Rotate is mapped to middle mouse button and drag. And so I'm going to say Save Mouse Controls. And then I'm going to Return to Document. And oh, yeah, that's what we were hoping for. Now when I press down on the middle mouse button and I drag, that rotates that view. But one of the coolest things about Onshape is that when you make those changes in your profile, you're working in an online profile. And that means if you go to any other device, those settings are just going to be there for you. You know, you don't have to copy your settings and put them on a USB drive and then load them into a different computer or anything like that. I could just jump over to a different computer like this computer back here. I can log into Onshape and now I'm going to try it again. I'm going to press straight down on the wheel and oh yeah that rotates in that environment as well that's what i like to see so your settings move with your user login and that means when you log in on any other computer all your settings are just going to be right there waiting for you very nice in on shape 
Now, when it comes to changing my view, of course we can rotate, but another thing that I've gotten used to in SolidWorks is holding control and pressing the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven across the top of the keyboard. But because Onshape exists in a web browser, if you hold control and you press the number two, what the web browser will do is it'll take you to the second tab on your web browser. So if I hold control and press two, that takes me to the second tab on my web browser, control three, the third tab on my web browser, and control one is the first tab on my web browser. So I wish that when I first got started in Onshape, I would have known that I can hold shift and use the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven to change to my standard views. Very similar to doing control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but instead you just use shift instead of control. And for those of you who are used to doing control eight for normal two in SolidWorks, you can just click on a face and on shape and press the letter N. That is the default key binding for normal two, which rotates that planar face perpendicular to your line of sight. Very useful when you're beginning a new sketch in on shape. But speaking of key bindings, this is another thing I wish I would have known when I first got started in Onshape. If we go into this flyout menu here for your username, my account, and we go to preferences, there's a section down here in your preferences where you can set up all of your keyboard shortcuts, all of your key bindings. So for me, changing to a back view using Shift 2, that works great for me. But if you wanted to change that to something else, this is where you can do it, in your preferences, down here in keyboard shortcuts. And once again, that's gonna move with your user login. So then if you jump to a different computer, like this computer back here, all those keyboard shortcuts are just gonna be right there waiting for you. And so the final thing that I wanted to show you here in Onshape is the use of the S key. Now, as an experienced SolidWorks user, I've spent a lot of time working with the S key. You can just press the letter S, jump into a commonly used command, and you can customize this menu. So I'm gonna go into a fillet command, a very commonly used command, S key, fillet. And then I'm gonna pick this edge, pick this edge, and then click the green check mark to fillet those edges. Well, I'm very happy to report that here in Onshape, we can also use the S key. So I press the letter S, jump into the fillet command, pick this edge here, pick this edge here, hit the green check mark, and there we go. We've created those fillets using the S key. But of course, the real power of the S key occurs when you've got the ability to customize the S key. So here I'm gonna begin a new sketch. So I'm gonna pick this face, press S, jump into the sketch command here with this pencil, press N to get normal two, and then I'm gonna create some sketch geometry, so S key line, let's create a line that comes up here, I'm gonna use auto dimensioning, so 0 0.125, S key jump into a circle, single click here, move my mouse, and I'm gonna give that a diameter of an eighth of an inch also, and now I wanna turn that into a hole, into a cut extrude, so I press the letter S, but look, extrude is not here on my S key menu. So all I have to do is right click customize. And once I choose customize, I can go into my shortcut toolbars for sketch mode, for part mode, for assembly mode, or for drawing mode. Well, for sketch mode, I'm gonna add the extrude command. So now we see the extrude command is here. I'm gonna say save shortcut toolbar settings. I'm gonna return to my document. And now here I can choose refresh. And now look at that, the extrude command is right there. So this will be really useful when you're in sketch mode and you wanna jump right into an extrude or a cut. You just choose extrude here. We're gonna say remove and through all. And there we go. Now we've got a hole running through this model. So those are my top five tools, tips, and settings that I wish I would have known when I started my journey into the world of Onshape. And let me know down in the comments, how many of these did you already know? How many do you wish you would have known? And do you like this format? Would you like to see some more videos of me sharing some of my favorite tips and tricks from Onshape? Of course, be sure to like the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and oh yeah, I almost forgot, I've got a bonus tip for you here to help save your eyesight. Here we can see that in Onshape, we can go into this flyout menu here and we can go to my account, preferences, and in one single click, we can change to dark mode. So I click dark mode here, I say save theme, 
everything goes into dark mode. Now I can say return to document. And you'll notice here that the planes have changed to white. The text here on the planes have changed to white. The text over here in the tree has changed to white. You can see that all the background info has changed to different icons that are a little easier to see. The text is easier to see all of that in one single setting. And of course, the real magic of Onshape is that once we make that setting here on this computer, well, we can go to any computer, log into Onshape, and we're gonna see that that setting shows up in any device that we log into. So now here on our other computer, we're also working in dark mode. That is something that I really like. I don't have to go around and change that setting on every computer. Just change it once, and it's just there waiting for me the next time I log in. So, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for some more Onshape tips and tricks.